welcome to another vlog. Today I have a, another very busy day and something maybe a little bit different. Um, this morning it's now five to seven and I've got two morning clients this morning in the studio. And then when I get back, I'm gonna be telling you what is what. Clients all done. Um, so today I have a, I am very nervous today actually. I've got a modeling casting in London for Parker Pens. Um, I knew about it for a week now and I'm um, gonna head down to London today, get into the center of London and casting so that means I I don't actually know the full, I don't know what to expect, if I'm honest with you. So, the casting, I will be, other people will be there, and hopefully I will get chosen for the job. From what I can read in my description of what I'm meant to be doing today, I think that's what it, it involves. And I think it's going to involve me doing headshots and just like writing because today the modeling job is based around talents people have. So there's gonna be like vloggers there from YouTube. There's gonna be people who have a certain type of skill and my skill or talent is writing fitness articles. So I've got to take my notes of how my handwriting looks and stuff like that. So I actually had to also have my nails done nicely just in case I zoom in on my nails and I want to do all I can to try and get the job so I need to get ready now I'm going to head down there about half ten but I'm a little bit nervous and I need to change out of this attire and trim this up nicely and sort this out so let's do it that's better let's go get some breakfast breakfast this is not all for now, so we have, I'm having a massive breakfast because I don't know what time I'm going to be able to eat later. So, I've taken a couple of snacks with me. I've got a shake here, a muscle food, protein bar, rice cakes, peanut butter, and now I'm going to have some rice cakes. It's Dr. Zach's um, salted caramel peanut butter. Very nice. I've got a spare rice cakes and Greek yogurt and some oats. Like I said, I'm going to have a massive breakfast now. Um, get most of my calories, get most of my macros in now. Snack for a day. And then when I get back tonight, have a dinner. So I'm gonna eat this, then we're off. Okay, so we made it to the O2. I'm quite lucky really, I'll just drive to the O2 then get the underground into London. And I need to get to Oldgate, so let's do that. in Algate East. Just about to go into the building now and see what's what. That was a long day for like 10 seconds speaking to the camera. I basically had to go into a room, talk about my YouTube, talk about my writing, talk about my career, uh, quick fired questions at me. I had to do a little doodle, which was a stick man with a dumbbell. And then I had photos taken. And then they said, would I be clean shaven for the shoot? And of course I would do the shoot. So I'm now gonna venture home. 
on the way home I'm going to have in muscle food, high protein bar, caramel delight. It's really nice. It sticks to the packet, but it's still really good. And then we have six rice cakes and peanut butter, and I've just picked up this. I've never had this before. I've had the touch of, touch of strawberry before in water, but not sugar-free. And two calories per 250 milliliters, so decent. So that is my little snack for the journey home. And then I'm probably going to carry this vlog over uh, onto a day during the week. So that I can give you something useful to take away from the video, maybe give you a workout in there, something like that. Um, so, I'll see you in the next clip. Just right back home, I am actually going to go to the studio and hit up a shoulder and back session. So, the vlog didn't end there, and it's pretty much going to be a full day in the life video. But, whilst I'm in the zone for recording, I might as well bring you guys along with me. And then show you some useful tips towards doing a shoulder and back workout. So let's go to the studio. Always warm up. Don't be a fool and get injured. Five minute warm up. First exercise we are doing is wide pull ups and close pull ups. Today is more of a shoulder focused session. However, I know I'm a lot stronger in overhead pressing compared to pull ups. And if I do overhead press first, I'm going to be a bit more tired and my pull ups are going to suffer. I've been doing my pull-ups at the beginning of my workouts for the past pretty month and I've gone from being able to do like six really strict to about eight, nine, so definitely improving. So yeah, this is now my fourth working set. Uh, I'm gonna go pretty much to failure. Where the first couple of sets I was stopping one before failure just so I had enough left in me to get some good reps in the next set. So fourth set. Thing, but they get in better. Next, one we're going to do is some close pull ups. Third exercise. My favourite right now, a standing overhead press. Did on four sets of wide pull-ups, four sets of close pull-ups. Now we're doing a pyramid system on here. This is my third working set. And in a minute I'm gonna show you my grip, how I like to hold it, and the reasons behind that. But let's do the third set first. So when I'm doing my standing overhead press, there's a few things I like to do before I set myself up. So, grip wise, I like to come in, if you, if you look at the bar, my grip is fairly close. And I have my thumb here on the first bit of line. And I actually have like a suicide grip. So as I go under the bar, I don't actually fully grip the bar like you'd typically see. It's called a suicide grip for obvious reasons. Um, with this, what it does, it allows me to not grip so, so hard. Because if you keep doing that, all you're going to do is pressure so much of your forearm. And by doing this, it's a push motion, so you can relax your grip and just really focus on pushing through the shoulders and the triceps and taking your forearm out of the equation as much as possible. So, I'll show you um, from, the, from the front view and you can see what I mean. So my grip, you can see I go fairly close. Thumbs this side, come underneath, unrack, fairly close, stance nice and wide, and I actually have a, a restarting position every single time. So as I press, 
I'm gonna do a set as well, by the way. Press up, come down, fully stop, fully stop. So I'm doing a restarting position every single time, just so I can re-engage your shoulder and the mind-to-muscle connection you get from your shoulders is excellent. Get that back nice and tight, hips nice and back, core nice and tight. shoulders because it's going to be the main focus today um, and we're doing some dumbbell lateral raises and I actually covered this in my last vlog when I worked out with my friend Kyle doing that it's kind of like the shoulder press the stop position the restarting and go again uh, I feel like I can lift a lot heavier by doing that get a good technique and when I start to get to the sets so I'm going to do five sets now and in the last couple of sets I might go into alternative reps to just so I can literally just finish it off because I don't like having too much of a swing in there. Um, I don't want to put a swing towards the last end of the reps. So for example, if I'm aiming for eight to 12 reps, which I'm going to be, I'll get a nice solid eight reps, and then maybe a little tiny swing, some cheat reps towards the end, just to get the final few done. So this is my first working set. Rest periods, with my pull-ups, bent over rows, I was doing 90 seconds to two minutes. With the isolation movements, the smaller movements, having 60 to 90 seconds rest. So, I'll see you the next exercise. Moving into some barbell bent over rows with my last back exercise. So, in my bonus sessions when I'm doing an extra muscle group, so today, the bonus muscle was back. I like to do a pull-up motion, I have a horizontal movement and a vertical movement, so I'm using bent over rows. With my bent over rows, I do like to get nice and low to the ground, literally parallel to the ground. Um, get a nice stretch of the lats and then bring it right in um, to the belly button. Focus on shoulders. All right, so two more exercises to go. Last one's gonna be a superset. This one, second to last one, doing a seated dumbbell shoulder press. I'm at the big movement. I already do like isolate out my front delts, like any front raises, anything like that, because I feel like my front delts get an absolute battering doing chest, close grip bench press, even doing the overhead press to some degree. It's gonna be a bit more focus on the front of the shoulder. Um, so just doing another big compound movement. Um, towards the end of the session, I'm pretty much just trying to go until failure now. Giving it all I've got, last 15 minutes, all I've got left in the tank. Whereas before, in the first few working sets, take my time, good rest period, maybe stopping at one before failure just so I can complete the session. And now at the end, we're really gonna go for it and just smash it out. Actually, before I lift, you're gonna notice I'm gonna put a little pausing technique in there, like literally like a one second pause right at the bottom, just because in the studio, I've only got 20 kilogram dumbbells and I can pretty rep it out for about 15, 17 reps. So I want to keep in my rep range, 8 to 12. I'm going to go right until failure, but yeah, adding in that one second pause just to make it harder. So sometimes you don't have to use a heavier weight. Sometimes you can just make your existing weight harder by adding in a slow repetition, pausing repetitions, um, doing a very slow, slow negative phase, so stuff like that. So let's get four sets done.
also notice on that I put a little tilt into my shoulder press. I just feel a lot better with the contraction. I feel like it takes a little bit of pressure on my triceps as well, because sometimes if I've done arms the day before and trying to press up in the air, triceps feel absolutely fry. So having that little shoulder tilt, I just feel a lot more in the shoulders. Give it a go. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment in the comments box. Okay, last thing to finish off. She's gonna let you go for it now. So barbell up right rows, in the dumbbell lap raises, both pretty much will fail out, but both gonna be in between eight and 12 reps. Um, you're gonna notice on this, I'm also gonna go for another hook grip, take a bit of pressure off the forearm. So three supersets of this, finished. Yes, like good grip really does take so much pressure off. Try it. Right, no slacking, done all that raises. Let it out, run. <laughs> done. If you enjoyed the vlog today, hit that thumbs up. I know you want to, come on. Leave me a little comment. Tell me what you think of the video. And obviously hit subscribe. Whilst you're there, you might as well subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And I'll see you next week for another vlog where I might have some exciting news. Stay tuned.